The stem module of the Stex does not have any axes on it, but with the power of virtual axes, you can change that. For the sake of this guide, we will show you how to program the three-way switch, encoders, and case switches into virtual axes. The stem 2 has a removable detent block on the three-way switch. Too bad, because we gotta take it out. Remove the base plate to access the internals of the module, and then simply unscrew the block and extract it. The switch will continue to send buttons like this, but it won't cause any problems as we will bind only the analog control in-game. In, in VKB Dev Config, head to the access panel of the profile section. With the logical access and physical access areas selected, check the N and Viz checkboxes for the sixth axis of the logical axes area and set the trimmer for the sixth axis to trim plus in the physical axes area. Once done, click the set button under the action tab to commit the changes to your device. If all went well, checking out the access panel in the test section should have you seeing Access 6 moving with the three-way switch. Have you ever wanted to make your perfectly good encoder act like a pot? I sure haven't, but you can. To start, you'll need to identify the desired encoder in software. Navigate to the profile section, and then the buttons panel, and then select the physical layer tab. Ensure that the pull checkbox along the top right of the tab is checked, and then roll the desired encoder both ways. You'll see two cells light up as you roll the encoder. Click the first of the cells to open a dialog box. Here, click the Discrete dropdown and change it to Trimmer. Assign it a free axis, which for us would be axis 7, and then set the multiplier, or speed, of the virtual axis. After closing the dialog box, jump back to the access panel of the profile section. In the logical axis area, Check off the N and Viz checkboxes for the virtual axis you just set, and in the physical axis area below, set the trimmer for the same axis to trim plus. Click the set button under the action tab to commit your changes. As always, we ought to verify the changes in the axis panel of the test section. If the speed of your new analog encoder isn't satisfactory, you can adjust the multiplier back in the physical layer tab for buttons, and then setting the adjustment. For bonus points, how about we configure the axis press as a trim reset? Heading back once again to the physical layer tab under Profile, Buttons, to press the encoder. Click on the cell that lights up, and there's now another dialog box to play with. Click on the rightmost dropdown and use it to program the cell as Trimmer. And then, in the dropdown that appears below, make the function Trimmer Reset for axis 7 only. Clicking in the encoder will reset axis 7 to the center so that you don't have to do it manually. You could also convert your case switches into axes. The process for this one is much closer to that of the encoder than that of the three-way. Click over to the profile section, then the buttons tab, and then the physical layer button to identify the inputs. With the profile checkbox checked in the top right corner of the panel, rocking the case switch will cause a couple cells to light up. Click on the top switch's cell to configure it. In the dialog box, we'll change the purpose to trimmer and make the function trimmer plus on a free axis. We'll be using axis 8. If you'd like, you can set a speed multiplier now, which can always be changed later.
close the dialog box and then do the same for the bottom switch. Do the exact same steps for the same axis, but this time set the function to trimmer minus. We would generally suggest matching the multiplier for an even response. Let's use the middle button on the case switch as our axis reset. You'll notice that this would be the cell in between the two rocker directions. Click on it. With purpose as trimmer once again, we will leave the function as trimmer reset for this one. Apply the reset only to axis 8 by unchecking all other axes. Finally, configure the axis by going to the axis panel of the profile section. In the logical axis area, check off the N and Viz for the axis you just configured. And then in the physical axis area, set the trimmer for that same axis to trim plus. Hit set, get it tested, and then get on your way.